Welcome to uh, the re return, the glorious return of King of the Cube, brought to you by, well, me, uh, sometimes Atriok, always Red Bull, and we have one banger of an undercard tonight. Never before seen, it's doubles on King of the Cube, and, you know, I was very, I wanted to come back with a bang. Uh, King of the Cube, of course, took like a month-long hiatus. I was on vacation, and I said, what's something that's never been done before? What'll really get the people going? And I love doubles. I love doubles. Uh, I've, I've always I've always thought it's just, you know, other fighting games don't have doubles, unless you're talking in Guilty Gear Isuka, the offshoot 2v2 Guilty Gear game that uh, Arxis made that no one cares about. But it's something that's very unique uh, to the Smash Brothers community, and I wanted to highlight it here with what I think is the most exciting doubles match that I could possibly think of. Joining me on commentary will be someone who's, I think, a little bit of a, a NorCal legend. Someone who's been around the block, so he knows the, at least these players very, very well. Been to numerous Smash Fests at his house. And also, he was one of the commentators who, when I started commentating, I thought was one of the best in the business. Someone who inspires me to this very day. What's up? I'd like to extend a warm welcome to Bob Money. What's up, dude? Yo, what's going on, Tope, dude? I'm so oh. happy to be here. Dude, you don't know how excited I am to see this match. Um, this match is, you know, it's history in the making, honestly. It's like one of these things yeah. that you, it's like one of those dream matches. It's a fantasy match, right? It's when you think about, oh, what if LeBron fought Jordan or, you know, played against each other? These are two of the teams that you're like, I wonder if these guys will play each other. It's just, it's just really cool. Um, so I'm really happy to see it and happy to be here, too. So. Dude, I you you're you're like a doubles liker, right? I feel like most I people in Norcal. You, yeah. Well, I wasn't always before, but actually during the pandemic, I was entering a bunch of net play uh doubles tournaments with my boy, I'm sure you know him, Vitari, Aiden. And uh I oh, fell man. in love with teams a lot. And so okay, there's one thing you have to know about net play, especially when it comes to teams. It's a completely different beast from people rage quitting on you, right? In teams, like there's so much like when if you get good teams matches, both teams oh. are so happy to see like people of equal level, and you know there's always like a good game every single match. You know it's it's honestly super fun. You know, so if Dude. you haven't tried it yet, I just totally suggest it. Tempo and Run Riot. Um, God, th this is why I wanted to get them on. Dude. You know, you know, I think it's the coolest the coolest story. I, I've said this on commentary a couple times, so if you've heard this before, bear with me. Tempo and Run Riot met each other for the first time after, uh, well, not after the pandemic, the pandemic's still going on, but at Riptide, very recently, they actually became a top doubles team without ever having met each other in person, which is so crazy to me. The fact that they literally like met on the internet. I believe the first time they met was actually on Smash Ladder back before Roback, and then they became teammates and started entering online doubles events, and they are unquestionably one of the young rising stars of doubles if i was going to give them and i, I and for for, for for what it's worth i want to make sure they get their shine so i was like dude these guys are so sick their story is so sick i want to get them on and like highlight them and how cool i think they are but i need to make sure the match is worth it i i, I need to make sure. sure it's the highest caliber of doubles because i don't think they would settle for anything less so i hit up Two of my very good friends who I, you know, I saw some responses saying, what about this guy? What about this team? What about that team? None of that. The best double team of all time. Of course, it's PewFat. It has to be PewFat. I don't think it, you can't get the conversation. If, if it's doubles, the conversation doesn't start if it's not PewFat. So I said, this is the only, I'm not selling for anything less. As fat and run right. We've got everyone on cameras. What's up, dude? Good to, good to, good to have you guys here. It's good to see you guys. <laughs> What up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What up? What up? How are y'all doing? Run Riot, is this? I I, I want to ask you. Like you're uh, you know, I know you're you're a, obviously a doubles fox. Um, yeah. I just want to do a quick pre-match interview. Like, okay, uh, what do you and Tempo, you know, did did you guys watch PewFed videos? Like, how did you guys get so into doubles? And I don't know. Yeah. So I started playing doubles as soon as i started melee i never really played any singles so i just played on smash ladder all the time and um i just watched doubles play doubles and then eventually i met tempo on smash ladder and i would always kick him from every lobby because i thought he was the most annoying person i've ever played gimped me all the time and i was like dude i don't want to play this guy and then <laughs> we uh went to the doubles discords that started popping up after rollback doubles got leaked that was also my fault. I was too excited. And um, and then we just teamed Lord. once. We had a huge team combo that he... I mean, it didn't kill by like 1%. It 
and I DM'd him. I was like, dude, how could you do this to me? This is your fault. This combo is going to be so sick. And then, uh, and then we just kept teaming after that. I was like, hey, this guy's, this guy's really good. And then I found out later he was the same guy that I kept kicking from all my lobbies. Zach, did you, um, I mean, I know it's, it's, it's so funny because like, you know, you guys met each other, obviously your, your sort of is very different in te than Tempo and Run Riots, but like, how's it feel to be back as a team? <laughs> obviously I know you've been doing big things in singles, but as a team, how's it feel to be back? Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm excited. I'm excited that we actually get to get to compete once again. Uh, you know, Kevin and I, we've been we've been playing teams about once a month, give oh, or yeah. take. Uh, so like, we we still got it. We didn't go we didn't go anywhere, but uh, it's cool to to finally show off show off our game again. Looking forward to watching. We're gonna get Tempo and uh, Pew Pew, and we're gonna ask them, "What's up, guys?" Oh my God, Pew Pew, the jack actually what's the jackets on both of you guys. Oh my what's God, hey. Tempo, what's up, dude? Um, yeah, did, and do you want to corroborate this story where you, were you truly gimping Run Riot left and right and center? Yeah, yeah. So, um, I've always loved teams more than singles. And, uh, so I used to play Anther's Ladder teams all the time. So you only could play with like a small pool of people. Um, yeah, connections. So yeah, terrible. So you'd always run into the same eight people or so. So Run Riot was one of those people. And never, it blows my mind that on Anther's Ladder, I think maybe we only ever teamed once. Every time I was always against him. I'd always gimp him, you know, just the classic chic, like bear gimp over and over. Uh, and I thought it was hilarious. I thought it was great. And um, yeah, so I would cheese him and then uh, I didn't hear from him after like, you know, Anther's ladder started fading out a little bit and rollback and everything and did not hear from him. Uh, I didn't realize that I knew him actually as long as it's been. It's been like six plus years now, which is crazy. Um, That's melee. Yeah, yeah. And then he he hits me up one day. And he's like, hey, I need a teammate. Do you want to play? And I was like, yeah, sure. And uh, I think I heard him say it about the team combo. It definitely would have been one of our craziest team combos. And I ended it with an up air. And to be fair, it was on a peach. And she was like at 90 or something. And I was so convinced it would kill. Like I was near top platform. And it just, just didn't kill. And he pauses the game and he starts screaming at me. And I thought it was the funniest thing. And then ever since then, we just were like, hey. We're actually pretty good at teams together. Let's just keep playing. As it turns out. As it turns out. Kevin. What's up, Chris? How we doing? You look like you came dressed for combat. Absolutely. You know, you know me. Look good, feel good, play good, all that jazz. Good. Kevin, did you know this morning we did a, you know, we did like an MIOM podcast thing. And right. I don't know, one of the questions we had uh, was, uh, hey, Guys, let's go around and just say, like, which player, you know, historically that's retired now, who do you miss the most? I'll say your name came up quite a bit. I must admit your, your name, Your name came up quite a bit. I, you know, which we do all miss you. Uh, but this is a serious set. You're, this is, this is the, even if, even if brief, this is the end retirement. How does that feel? You ready? Yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely ready. Mentally ready. Uh, I've been playing a decent amount. I can't say that like when I've been playing, I've I've necessarily been looking for growth, and it's more so like going to the gym and just like doing jump shots. Uh, but but it's good, it's good, and and I I couldn't be happier playing a team. Uh, you know, like there's no other team that I'd rather be playing than these guys. I don't know if you know, but CLG also hosted a tournament, a doubles tournament, and. Uh, the grand finals was these two against Rocky and Azel, I believe, and it was a motherfucking nail biter, and uh, they ended up winning. And I'm just really happy that these guys are here. You know, they've gone through so much of this bullshit in uh, in the online era, and you know, they've just been so diligent about it. So you know, we just figured it's time for the champs to give these guys some shots and mm. you know, see see what's good. And you know, it might not seem like I've got a lot to prove going around this time, but uh, I definitely do. Maybe not to everyone at home, but a lot to myself. And uh, just happy to be here, man. Best of luck to all of you. Appreciate it. Best of luck to Thank all you. of you. We're gonna get into yeah. the gameplay, and we'll talk to uh, well. The way we usually do it, if you lose, if you're salty, you can just dip. Just do, do whatever you need to do. Go for a run. But if you want to join us, we do the winner's interview. But if you lose, you can also come on if you want. If you've got things to say, all of the players, please keep that in mind. And uh, I guess we will drag you guys over to the other Discord channel with just the players. Uh, so you guys don't have to hear me and Bob Money talk. Um, and we will talk to you guys after the match. All right, Bobby. Dude. Um,
Yeah, this is going to be... What do you think about all that? Yeah, so I think this is going to be really good. What what I want to see is just because generally when you're playing teams, like there's certain yeah. team combinations where you're yeah. kind of used to. You're used to seeing the Sheik Peach. You're used to seeing the the, the Sheik Fox, right? Um, Fox Fox even, right? But one thing I thought was only unique about Kevin is that he played Marth, right? And how many high-level teams Marth are there, right? Not many. Not many, right? You can count. You can, There's a lot of good representation for the other characters but marth is like really he's well one he's difficult to play in teams right and then you know two you know you as a as a competitor and you're playing against marth you're like okay uh this is a little weird okay oh and it's and it's ppu okay well now now i have to like totally figure out how to do this thing right so i'm yeah. just looking i'm, I'm really to see, curious to see how they're going to deal with kind of kevin style uh ppu style and just kind of you know if they've labbed it i'm sure that, they're both He's like so tricky. Yeah. So tricky, yeah. right? I have to imagine they did their prep. Um, let's see if it like is, you know, let's see if it pays off, like if it's enough, because uh obviously PewFet is like I mean, Tempo and Riot, Riot Run Riot definitely have been competing more lately, but uh it's 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 so hard to come in, come into this not feeling like PewFet is just this titan. Yeah. In terms of a uh, in terms of a team to beat. So yeah, I think you're right. I think Marth has to be hard to adjust to. He's uh, and and the way uh, Pew Pew plays Marth even in, in doubles, I think is not even like it's not really like how he plays in singles at all. Very right. cognizant of little, very subtle things. I think Marth kind of has to be. Um, and uh, and you're obviously you you started being a Marth main towards the latter part of your career, so you've kind of got a little bit of that appreciation. Yeah, I bet for sure. And there's there's a part when you're playing a Marth character he's so fragile he's fragile but he's also not at the same time and uh it, it just really depends because i mean both characters both teams have characters that have difficulty getting on the ground you know Sheik and mars so we'll see which one breaks first uh um i think generally the game plan usually is you double team the fox on both sides right you get out of Sheik's range you get out of mars range and you double team the fox um we'll see how that works out and then zach obviously one thing I love about Zach is that his defense is so good, you know? Yeah. He's really, really... I mean, both both SFAT and PPU, and we're going to be getting into the first game here. So it is going to be... Tempo and Run Riot are going to be, obviously, the Fox and the Sheik. And it's going to be Tempo, uh, the Sheik, and Run Riot, the Fox. And, yeah, I don't know. I think this first game's going to say a lot. You, you yeah. definitely do see PewPew, you, you, like, he'll take to the outside, or if they're, like, you know... Okay, if there's, like, two and two... But like opposite sides of the screen, yes. you'll see Pew Pew trying to kind of like he'll play behind Esfet and kind of like try to like get the pickups. Yeah, I think I think that's a really good point. And I think Marth more than Marth characters can really corporate the horizontal really well. But if they're going up and down, it's a little more difficult for them. Mm -hmm. So if they hit Esfet like to the side, he's able to punish. Ooh. Oh wow! Oh okay. Pew Pew was focused on getting the uh, the edge guard there on Run Riot. Wow. Temple living on a prayer here. One forty six. Yeah, I was surprised he just ran up there with down smash. Could have gotten punished, but he's living. That's he's kinda, she Sheik is another character, by the way. You got to play differently in, in doubles, I would say, than singles. For sure. Yeah. It's one of those things where, like, um, one of our best things is edge guarding, right? And you kind of have to pull back a little bit on that because you don't want to get um, punished for it. Yeah, if the if like the enemies, you're, you're edge guarding one of them, and then the enemy teammate comes in. Yeah, I think so one of the big thing is time management, right? She. You can't do two or three back airs off sledge, right? You can only do one to kill them, so yeah. that's going to be rough important. Okay. Actually, <laughs> this is that moment where it's kind of hard to tell, like, with, with, with the way team's math works. Yes. Like, red's winning, the red team's winning in terms of stock count, but, like, the blue team's kind of winning because they're at low percent? Yeah. Ooh, I, that was an interesting air dodge by Run Riot. It actually messed up Zach's punish. Nice. Okay. And they close those out. Yeah, and you notice you. the respawn? Look, they're both on opposite sides of the stage. What do you, what do you think about that? Like, they've been, yeah, they've kind of been doing that. Like, they've kind of been doing that little split up. And PewFat, like, they definitely have these little, um, they've got little strategies for those moments. Like, when they come down, like, they stagger their spawns. Like, Pew Pew will say, like, okay, I'll go first. And then, Z you know, SFAT will come down when Pew Pew's invincibility ends. I have to imagine Temple Run Right are probably doing something similar. Oh, well, that could have been gnarly. Esfet getting the, the team combos going. Uh, oh, right there's a good example. See how Pew Pew went over, try to get that up air? 
It's a little risky for like Barth to double jump like that. Mm -hmm. Unless it's gonna kill, so. BB will usually tend to leave those to, you know, to SFAT if, if uh, unless SFAT is completely booked doing something else. Right, and I think that's the interesting thing about teams that when, when both teams know like the rules of teams, you can start to break them slowly, right? And it becomes like this weird mind game between both teams where like, both teams know like the right way to play teams, but then they just like break the rules all of a sudden. Oh, what a oh. needle for oh! oh! He actually downed both of them. Tempo barely makes it back. Holy smokes. Dude, I don't understand how PPU does it sometimes. Yeah, that was, I would have never thought to do that. That was insane. Wow. Okay. That game was close for a while and then yeah. uh, PewFat kind of went on a little bit of a tear. Yeah, that's insane. That was disgusting. That was disgusting. I never I even thought about too, mm -hmm. Dude, getting getting team comboed by cuz like, okay, something that comes up a lot in doubles is that like the the knockback stacking effect where if you get yes. hit like within 10 frames versus outside of that, it really kind of drastically it like impacts how you fly. It's really discombobulating to DI taking into account that Plus the fact QBU is so good at mixing up the tipper and non tipper hitboxes. Right, right, because yeah, you're you're essentially DIing a soft hit, like a hard hit, you know? So yeah. it gets really confusing. Oh. Nice. I like how Zach knew exactly how much time he had. He didn't have enough time to go over there to punish that to up smash uh tempo. So we went over mm -hmm. to get the up smash on the right. Yep. Oh, Good angle from Tempo. Yeah. They're, yeah, this is usually the spot you want. I will say, PewFat so far has done a slightly better job of like the ideal spot, which is where both of you and your teammate are on stage, and both the opponents are either off stage or the ones on the ledge. Yeah. Because Tempo and Run Riot, if they can make those situations play a little bit more to their favor, they can turn this around. Sure. Huge up smash. Yeah. Oh, beautiful up B. Gonna... Okay, that was a little awkward. Not sure who's gonna cover that. Amazing angle! Oh. God, that's hard to deal with. SFAT, yeah, I mean, people talk about how slippery uh, PP is in doubles, but SFAT oh. makes himself, like you said, the defense. Oh my god. That was insane. Look for Shine there, dude. I wanna see this Marth get pressured a little bit more. I mean, obviously, you wanna double team the Fox, but the Marth should have a hard time you know, kind of getting down after he gets hit up, so. Say that. Oh! Do you think they're like, you know you said they're like, you know, they might take some time to get used to the doubles Marth, especially since it's PPU. Do you sure. think that's kind of happening right now? I think so, just a little bit, because you just realize you don't have as much room as you think, you know, and... And he dashes so much faster than you're ready for. Like, who goes for Marth back here, bro? What? Oh, look at that beautiful, so PPU using the light shield oh, on the tempo. top platform. Oh, Tempo. Oh. Yeah. Talk to me. Yeah, and I think that's a really good like thing to do in doubles, the light shield. It just gives you so much time. Cause they, if anything, like they're never gonna shield plug you. They could go for a grab, but then like. Uh, should. Oh, oh, he knew oh, that was gonna. It. Holy smokes! Okay, a high percent here. So a high percent here. They kind of want to pressure the sheik here because TP doesn't really have a good way to get in. Yeah. And the first. Oh, I will say the high percent game is one spot where I think, oh my god, what? How did he find that Ken combo? And he took the jump too. No way to recover for tempo. That's one thing. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. That's the thing that makes Marth kind of so good in teams because that takes no time. It, it literally takes no time to, to, to spike a character. It's not like a repeat, rinse and repeat edge guard. It's literally one spike and you're done. It's just, it just ends, yeah. Even when you try and spike, you still have a chance, right? But if you get Marth spike, you're dead. I would, yeah, and it's funny because I would say in the typical case, like in the in the expected case, you know, I would say this is where Sheik usually at those high percent situations, that's where Sheik usually is going to shine because like Sheik has the guaranteed stuff at high percent. It's yeah. easy to get a down smash or a fair or a throw or, a, you know, a tilt that combos at like 100 and you can convert that into an easy kill. With Mars, sometimes it's a little bit situational, right? Like you get a grab yeah. at 100, it's really complicated, especially in teams. Yeah, but but is uh -huh. so creative. So he finds those conversions. Yes, I agree. And it's also like a mix and pull, uh, a push and pull between 
survival di and diing the combo correctly right because as a team in teams you want to be able to di up so you have time to recover and you're not diing at a terrible and you're not recovering at a terrible angle right and so it's kind of like the thing oh martha's comboing me should i di up so i have a better recovery or should i get out of the combo um it's like i don't know it's a really hard decision there yeah yeah sometimes honestly that's kind of how it goes with you like i played in teams tournaments a couple times like this team <laughs> I remember one time it was like a tournament match and he like comboed me across the stage. Like my teammate and SFAT were fighting in the middle of the stage and he just comboed me through my teammate and SFAT and like Ken comboed me on the other side of the stage. And I was like, I don't know, it was like that one, you know that clip of like, it's like, see if you can, like you watch a clip of people dancing and like at some point like a bear walks through the middle and you don't notice it because you're not paying attention to it. It was yeah. like that, like me and oh, you hilarious. calming me was the bear. That's hilarious. And, and I didn't even know, the thing was, I didn't even know I was getting comboed per se. Like, I didn't know I should be combo di I was like, he's yeah. gonna go into like a, it's right. doubles. He's not gonna be able to finish this combo. So I wasn't right. like doing the combo di It's extremely disorienting. Man, Run Riot's doing um, everything he can to try to get into center, but it's just not working, you know? It's just really tough. I mean, because usually you just want to maintain center at a certain point against, like, uh, against Marth, just so he doesn't have it. Yeah. And I want to see, like, one of them kind of establish it. But look, look, Kevin's just sitting in the middle, right? And just, like, not letting him get center. Yeah. So let's see if he can push them out. See if he can maintain center here, so if he's on the and edge. Do you do you feel like they should like you know you were saying because it's always this mix, like you wanna two v one the fox kind of. But I also sometimes I feel like they're giving QP a little bit too much breathing. Yeah, it, yeah, you're right. And it's it's a little tough because you wanna play outside of Marth's range, but sometimes when you stand out of range with Marth, it's just as scary, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, and that kills. That's fat. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Dude! Yeah, that's insane because you like. Why are you ready for that? I don't know. Like, Marth has a tipper and a non tipper. So it's like hard to react <laughs> to that stuff, you know? All right. I feel oh. like part of it is you just gotta know. Okay. Yeah, if, if one of them could have edge guarded. Okay. They're bullying PB, but PB is so ready for everything. Oh! Right, Justin, how's he gonna save them? Oh. God, dude, Pew, this, you see that backer people just went for? Like, no one does that. No one goes, no one thinks backer there. It's so disorienting. Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my. Run right. Kind of at the edge here. PB controlling center. Yeah. I think, yeah, Run right's gonna die there. It's so hard for Sheik to come over there and kind of pressure Marth to stop the edge guard, but they got PP at high percent here. Nice, that I got the follow-up. Oh, I see. Forward smash because oh, smash isn't going to kill. He's right. hoping for the DI mix-up. That's actually really smart from Run Ride, but of course, s -Fat reacts. Oh, my. Oh, he'll try to save with the shine. That was almost amazing. Also, forward smash uh, is just quicker. Uh, oh, oh, beautiful oh trade! Oh, God. Who trades there? He lives, bro. I've never seen anybody purposely trade with that move. That's insane. Dude, I... I'm not gonna lie to you. I mean, if you take this match and you put it in front of like, you know, the layman, and you say, which of these players is currently retired? <laughs> right? <laughs> I don't know, dude. It, oh my God. And he's he's been up. Oh shit, if he gets that, I'm losing my marbles. He's been up, he's been the stock tank every game. Yeah. Which like, okay, if you've been watching doubles tournaments for long enough, you, you get used to this, but I've missed it. Damn, and S Fat even, even faking like he was good because he was on the side platform and he like fake wave lands back onto the platform to like yeah. trick tempo into up being onto the platform and he just gets the easy up beat, or up up smash. Yeah, so I think the adjustment here is it's rough because okay, as a Marth right and you're stock yeah. tanking. Yeah. The way you die against both of these characters is you get grabbed and you get killed off a of grab confirm, correct? But the problem yeah. is. If she grabs Marth, it takes too long, you know? It just simply takes too long in teams. s so, needs to be busy, right? Like, either he's dead and he's coming back, or, like, you know, he's wrapped up in the right. game, he's getting comboed, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, so even if she gets a grab on Marth, does she oh. have enough time to, like, rack up the percent, get a kill? 
Do we have enough time for up or up air on Marth? It's just really rough. Because getting yeah. straight hits on Marth isn't like... It's not like the, the thing you really want to do, right? Yeah, oh. I... Oh, oh, oh that ledge side. Okay, Tempo and Runner Ride, I will say, fully in control of this game so far. Yeah. What? Not getting the KO on S-Fash there. Yeah, it's yeah. a big drop there. Oh my god. Oh, wow. Oh. They come back! Oh my gosh, that was amazing. Oh, wow, he didn't charge that up smash. He actually did no kill. I think they had the time to. Oh, nice pickup by Kev! Dude, Kevin, like, low-key has been mostly winning the 1v2s, which is just ridiculous. Okay, now Spat getting that first KO on Run Riot. Yeah, Tempo gonna chill out on the ledge. And, and yeah, you know so, as a seasoned doubles player, between yes. stocks, if their teammate's coming back and Sheik's on the ledge, don't even... Not but, but did you see what PB did in response to that? I think it's amazing because they knew that he was gonna take his time on the ledge, right? So they immediately mm -hmm. went to the sandwich position to be like, okay, we'll just, right. just mess up your position. We'll just you know, pincer them. Yeah, we'll just pincer, so... The sandwich position, dude. Be a good name for a sandwich shop. Sandwich, uh, house me the sandwich. Oh. Oh. oh, they put themselves up. Oh, oh no, that's oh, bad. Oh, get the Okie Doke. Anytime you. Yeah. yeah. Wow, oh, Run Riot, what? Dude, great yeah. recovery. Yeah, Run Riot's been very tricky this game. That's bad. Mm. Okay, PP finally taking that saw. But speaking of tricky, again, it is PP that's sitting at four spots. They've had numerous opportunities to KO him, I would say, but. Yeah. Smash him? Yeah. I mean, where are the grabs on Marth, right? It's just. It's kind of what you need sometimes. Because mm -hmm. it's just. There's certain characters, like. That just die off grabs, right? Marth's one of them, but it's just hard to get that grab. Yeah. Wow. Beautiful! Look at the. Okay, ah! I like that as well. Yeah, it's still. He's making it so hard for him to get anything accomplished. And I feel like SFAT is at his happiest when, like, he can set up his dash dance. Like, in these matches, like, yeah. when he is, like, full control of the stage and he can just kind of, like, set the pace. I think that's great. I mean, the, the great thing about Marth is that he can really. If somebody hits Fox, Marth can get over there quickly and grab, right? He has good ground speed, so he can kind of mm -hmm. cover Zach if he gets hit. Okay, people got the ledge here. Now he gets the grab. Oh! Oh! Probably wanted the the, the normal hit there, got the reverse yeah, instead. I assume. And I mean, this is doable, but... Oh, jeez. I mean, Run Ride sitting at 100 here on his last stop. Yeah, yeah oh, they're, they're, they're going for the grabs on Marth, but they're just not getting the confirms. Yeah. Run Riot's like a tad too slow in some of these spots. Dude! Pewbie, the only Marth that, well, one of the only teams Marth, period. Oh, yeah, okay. grab released. Okay. Oh, that's a tough spot. Yeah, stocks are even, but the percent is so far in Pewfat's yeah. favor. This is still pretty much even, though. Yeah, this is okay, doable. Get... Oh! He's too hard to enter. Yeah. Oh, what a nair! Oh my god! Oh! oh he went no for the way. double oh, neutral beat? What the fuck was sick. that? I don't know. I've never, seen... I've never seen that. Oh! He did the same! Oh! 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 Oh, the downs, man. Okay. Wispy, Wispy messed up the spacing. Wispy oh, messed up the spacing. That was gonna be the tipper, Wispy. That was gonna be insane. How did that grab hit? Dude, he's trying to put him on. They're trying to put him on notice right now. I know. It takes some time, especially in doubles, to like really understand like the pace of the game, you know? Because you're like, okay, is this team playing this fast or this fast? Or, and especially because the stage changes, it's like you got to play a different game every time. So, this team but... is really hard to get used to. Yeah. Um, yeah, I look. I mean, Temple Run Riot. If they, 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 you know, it takes time, but they've, they've, they've just about spent all the time they have. They've got to make something happen here and yeah. now. This is go time right now for them. They're not trying to get my bead, the double bead. Yeah. Tempo and Run Riot <laughs> missing a couple edge guards when both of them are able to edge guard. So, you know, oh, this is huge right here. That's a freebie. You take those. Really oh, double down helps. two. Oh, double down two. I've never seen anybody. 
That was sick. That was really okay. sick. That was really sick. Okay, they've nice. Got the, they've got the first clear lead yeah. that they've had. Oh, nice job waiting there to get nice up. Oh. Yeah. There's such a mind game too when it comes to grabs and teams, right? Because you can really use the grab invincibility to be like, to play neutral. Because you could be like, come at me here, I'm going to throw him here, you know? Yeah, the, the the double grab invincibility is like I would say it's a probably a mechanic that a lot of new school people don't really super know about. But every character in every throw animation, every single throw animation in the game, you go in invulnerable for part of your throw animation. And so if if it's a one v two scenario, you can use that invulnerability if you got to grab on one of the opponents. Yeah. You think the, the other teammate's gonna come in to interrupt you? You can time your throw to go invulnerable at the right time. Dude, I think what a stop. Yeah, that was, that was sick. Waits out pew pew. Yeah. Part of the mind game against playing Marth is like, the Marth's gonna get grabs, right? That's gonna happen. So you really have to understand, is he gonna throw me right away? Is he gonna pummel or is he gonna, cause, or is he gonna up throw, so. Right. Pewie's doing a good job of mixing that up. Oh, he just drifts back to the ledge like a boss, cause he knows. <laughs> oh man, he's trying to take Run Riot for a ride right here. And dude, oh, his teammate is dead. Oh, oh good God. sign from Run Riot. Holy smoke! Up there! <laughs> That's one way to stay in it. Yeah. They're ready for the pickups. I mean, they're, yeah. they're getting the pickups, but they're gonna have to go a little bit of the extra mile and ouch. Run right, losing a stock there. Again, it's too fat to in the lead. Yeah, they got center now. Run right's got center now, so that's really, really good. Oh, we kind of gave it up there. I would like to keep it there for a second. Okay, God, too fat. Dude, their team combo sense is, is honestly yeah. out of, oh, oh my the, god. Up to the miss tag, he knew he had time. That's the scariest thing, is when Marth stays grounded, he has all of his moves available, or he can just grab you. And it's just like, a lot of the Mars, a lot of Mars will like spam aerials in teams sometimes, and it's just like, what if you just stand there and use your ground boost? It's just, is that, if you're doing a really good job of kind of oh. doing that. Oh, that, okay. turn around. Oh, oh my god, he saved! No, 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 no. I'm, I'm confused. I'm actually confused. How did I swear to god people should be dead? I think they hacked the game. Yeah. Why is he alive? He shine spiked him. Yeah, he shine spiked him, but I guess the upbeat of momentum cancels? What the fuck was what? that? Oh, these guys are warming up now. We got ourselves a match. Okay. Uh, I mean, they gotta get it done here now, but run oh, riot. No. Yeah, that's a little rough oh. throw there. Run riot, you can't get up Smash Bro. Up air! That's it. Wow. Uh, I've never seen that in my life. That was insane. Fuck. You know what? You know what's so unfortunate is that the team's fiends are going to be like, can we have more? Can we I have know. more? Yeah, that's how it is when you're playing doubles. You really, yeah. it doubles really does that to you where you want to just sit there and like, yeah. You it, got it's, it. it's like one more game. I switch one more game down. Come on. Yeah. It's it's rough, like especially a sheik there when people are baiting you with shield, right? Because you're as a sheik player, like you want to grab, but grabbing with sheik is so risky in teams. You know, it just takes so long. And then if she's a high percent, she just gets killed. So it's just rough. But that was crazy. I would say that Tempo and Run Riot definitely show that they have a lot of solid fundamentals. And, oh, yeah. I mean, they had some, you know, they're, they're, they're like awareness. Their doubles awareness was really, really good. Their pickups were really, really good. And but, like, a... I'm watching PewFat, and PewFat, like, dude, I, I I mean, I think the difference maker, honestly, was, you, you remember how you said that yeah. everyone on the screen knows the rules, right? Yeah. But I think PewFat, they broke the rules in some weird ways. Yes. I... I am a little. I need to see the the replays on some of those situations. Oh, yeah. I'm a little. I'm a little confused. I mean, people think watching singles is like crazy. Watching doubles with four amazing players is like you know your your brain is exhausted after it. You know. Yeah. You're just trying yeah. to process everything. But yeah, that was that was really amazing. Wasn't it? That was. I thought they were dead. I thought for sure they were dead. I'm so. I'm oh, so discombobulated. Yeah. We're getting we're getting the players back in. What's up, guys? First of all. Oh, no. Amazing set. Amazing set. Congratulations, Pifa. Yeah. Much appreciated. Um, listen, my first question is very simple. Kevin, what the fuck was that? <laughs> or, I, I, honestly, Zach, Zach started it. I, I should really be asking Zach. Both, I, it was both of you guys. How did you, you guys live that? What was that? 
I actually my brain oh. process. I my brain shorted out. No, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, the the last the last game. Right side of Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck was that? Uh, oh, yeah. that's Zach making a heads up play and 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 me just luckily hitting the L button at the right time and hitting back air. Yeah, I didn't mean to hit Zach. I I honestly didn't mean to hit Zach, but it just worked out really well. He said he said I'm dead, and I was like, Nah, bro, you're not. And then <laughs> came back. Not on my watch. <laughs> Shit. Um, dude. Okay, that was really fun to watch. Tempo and Run Riot. Thank you so much. Of course, that was uh, it was awesome to get you guys on. I know you guys obviously, you know, you're so you guys have been rising, you know, your your star your star is yeah. yet to reach its crest, its peak. But yeah. what was your take? What was your take? What what are your thoughts right now? Um, I'm just glad that with you know, because we prepared as much as we could, they're the best team. For a reason right it's not like we can just you know for as little as we knew going into it i'm really really happy that it never felt like we were outside of the realm and it never felt like we were you know on a on a level below there's just things that we have to to learn from obviously we have to take from the best team and watch it and figure out what's wrong because it's the little things right it's not like you know if we if we go back and look at it it's not like we just straight choked or like did you know like huge errors it's just like playing the best team it's, it's just the little stuff i i fully agree at least you know from a commentary perspective watching the set i i i agree i felt like you know watching it, i was like you guys clearly like you know the the built like the, the the foundations were, are there and then it yeah. was like the way they won most of those games was like i felt like uh and of course we're going to bring prefet back on yeah. comment but sure. I felt like it was like it was the little things. There were a lot of little, I, you know. It'd be like, yeah. okay, it's close, it's close, close. Like, holy shit, what the what was that? Yeah, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that before. And it's, there was yeah. a lot of that. There was a lot it's, of that for both SFAT and PBU. It's hard too because you got to keep in mind, you know, who were they playing before they stopped playing? It was Mute King Plup, UGS, yeah. Fox. Like fuck, they must have played Fox Sheik more than we've played at all. You know, oh, that's a good. Like, that's actually yeah. not a bad point. Uh, yeah, that's true. I mean. They they definitely uh it's I was thinking beforehand it's so nice to be able to play them because they're gonna show us holes that we didn't even know we had. I'm I'm really really happy we were, we were able to have you guys have you guys on for this and I'm sure it won't be the last time. Uh, oh, yeah. Pewfat, uh, if I can if I can have uh you know talk to ask you guys, um dude, how like okay because when I watch I I don't know I've been watching you guys in tournament for like a long time I commentate doubles I would say pretty pretty frequently and like you know obviously you've been in so many doubles top eights doubles finals uh i don't know i still feel like and this doesn't happen as much in singles i feel like when i watch you guys in doubles i am constantly flabbergasted or consistently flabbergasted more D is it like what is it is it is it all spur of the moment is it just genius at this point is it, you've known each other for 25 years uh, uh do you want to get to that question zach i i mean i i agree with run right and tempo i think it's little things like uh you know like we're just a lot more comfortable like stagnating our our invulnerabilities for for instance like that's one example where you know and we're very communicative like kevin if kevin spawns first or if we spawn at the same time usually we let kevin go first and he he makes like pretty you know vocal calls on like oh let's we're going for fox or you know i'm going for chic and like it doesn't really matter if he ends up hitting them or not but like the way he can zone them in one spot or another allows me to pick it up and get the kill and i feel like that happened quite a bit where they were at like that mid high percent kevin could zone them i pick up the kill and you know so it's i think it's a you know it's a matter of experience like you said like we've known each other for like 15 16 years so you yeah, uh, and if, if yeah, i can ahead. speak on that really quick as well chris uh sorry to cut you off but um i i think one of the biggest things is that zach and i have like unspoken game plans about a lot of things. And and so when it comes to the comms, you know, I mean, I guess you can imagine it as we will always have our, our base game plan. And uh, it's only going to come down to like uh, a unanimous decision between the two of us on on how we want to tweak those things. And, and that's where I guess where you can say like the, the comms come into play. And so uh, I think the easy way to say that is experience. And like the the more specific way to say that is just that we have been through it so many times and we've faced so many different opponents. And, you know, like we Zach and I have been like 
we've been the newbie, we've been the challenger and the veteran and the champion. And, and now like, you know, it's, it's all that experience that's, that's come to help us uh, throughout all those like fucking decade and a half or whatever the hell. I'm glad I got to watch you play doubles again. I hope it won't be the last time. Uh, Chris, you know, the last time that I played like an extended double session was with you actually. That's true. <laughs> How that goes? I also we we were playing pretty good. I we would played say. hot. I, I don't know we if to say. Hot. Yeah, we played hot. I did my best to be budget. <laughs> I, I did my best to be great value S fat. Let's put it that way. <laughs> 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 Fucking dollar store S fat. No, dude, don't sell yourself short. You we both did. <laughs> we both did great. Yeah, Kevin. Yeah. Kevin has one superpower when it comes to melee it's bringing out the best in his doubles player in his doubles partner no matter who it is so no, it feels i swear to god i know most people it, it sounds supernatural like it sounds like some magical nonsense but um teaming with pew pew it, it feels like you got a buff like it feels like you're like in an mmo and your paladin or whatever like gave you some kind of crazy buff and you're like your crit rate is higher and your a dexterity is higher. It, it actually feels that way. You're like, why is everything working? Like everything I'm going for is working. And it, it's weird. It's yeah, weird. You know, it's really funny. Uh, yeah. My, my coworkers were asking me like, oh, what's your preparation going to this? It's like, well, I'm just going to leave work early and, and do it like my pregame ritual. And like my pregame ritual in my mind is like, take a shower, listen to nice music, feel good, do your hair, put on nice clothes. But then like, nice. and like, I'm getting there. I'm like, okay, I got to do my stretches. Like I gotta remind Zach, like you gotta fucking like you gotta stretch, you gotta you gotta be hydrated, like get that heart rate going, like get that get that blood pumping, all that shit, you know. And it's just like it's it was all coming back, and like it, I'm just I'm really blessed to to be able to like be here and and play on your show, Toaf, and and yeah, I I just really appreciate it. Thank you so much to both of you, and congratulations again. Remember everybody, this is for Genesis. Exclamation mark donate. Uh, we're we're co-streaming on my channel and BTS Smash. Exclamation mark donate in both chats uh, is going to get you that link where you can help the Genesis TOs out. Uh, of course, SFAT, PPU, Bob Money, and I, all from NorCal, we really care about the Genesis tournament. Um, and also, dude, I got to say shout outs to CLG, of course. Thank you so much for getting both of y'all on. This was super sick. Shout outs to whoever does social media at CLG. I love the social media peeps. Because um, uh, you guys whipped up one hell of a graphic really on, on short notice. That was, that was kind of tight. So. Anyways, all right. Well, we're going to get to our single set of the evening. And Kevin, Zach, as well as Temple Run Riot, to all y'all, can't wait to can't wait till the next time I get to see you guys play. That was really fun to watch. Absolutely. Yeah, Thank you for having us. Thank you so much. Hell yeah. Peace out, guys.